Meet Steve Fuhr, managing member of Toucan Farms, Mason County's newest marijuana growing operation. You can find the nondescript 5,000 square foot white industrial building among four other grow operations at the Port of Shelton's Johns Prairie Industrial Park. The difference at Toucan Farms is it's a high-tech hydroponic facility, also known as deep water culture. In other words, they don't dig dirt here to grow marijuana to maturity in about eight weeks. This is not you know, your, 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 your brother's backyard cannabis grow. Things are so clean and sanitary here, you have to soak the sole of your shoe in bleach solution before entering a flowering room. Better put on your sunglasses because the grow rooms are brightly lit 12 hours a day. Those who venture near the budding plants wear lab coats and gloves to keep the product pure to sell to retailers at medical level quality. What, what makes this facility unique, one, is that we're in a hydro setup. We, we don't have dirt and we have special chillers that cool the water inside the, the, the plant tanks. And what also makes it special is that we built a building that's completely sealed with foam and there's actually no vents. We, the only vent that we have in this building is the bathroom vent. Toucan Farms horticulturalist and grower Tori Eckhart explained the basic advantage of hydroponic growing. You're able to control the nutrients a lot more. The light, I mean, you control all the factors a lot more than growing outside. I mean, you can't control when it's going to be cloudy, when it's going to rain. Um, I mean, of course, there's things that you can do to supplement that outside, but um, inside it's just a, a lot more control. That's why Fuhrer prefers the growing method. The reason we chose hydroponic is because it grows plants faster, bigger. If you had 10 growers in the room, they'd all think their, their method is best, but none of them would disagree that deep water culture grows the biggest plants the fastest. Fuhrer says deep water culture is also more efficient. The other reason we like hydro is we can control the moisture. We actually use half as much water in a hydro setup as we would in dirt and we use much less nutrients. We use about a fifth of the plant food that you would use in dirt. The other factor is that we can have two or three staff run an entire building where you would need seven or eight people in dirt because the plants water themselves. Fuhr elaborated on the intricacies of the operation setup. But we actually have five different climate zones in the building. So each climate zone in each room is different depending on what's going on in that room. And then we also control the humidity in each of those five different zones, and they're all different. The other thing we control are CO2 levels, and we control the amount of nutrients in the food. We control the pH of the water. And uh, you know, at that point, we even control some of the smells that, are, that do or don't go into the room. We're very careful about what we bring into the building. Eckhart says the plants are each tagged for tracking through the process and she routinely checks the plants and enters their progress in her database. Yes, it all goes in the computer so we all have records of, of what's been done. So if I do add something into the system, I put it in that record. I can look back from all the weeks of what I did, what these plants have gone through. If we do see them stressing, I can go back and see what I did wrong or Right. Toucan has four full-time employees, and when they are processing and packaging the product for market, they will add another four staffers. Dudley Scott is Toucan Farm's so-called extractor. He presses the rosin out of the processed marijuana to make oils for uses such as salves to rub on the skin. He demonstrated how the product is placed under thousands of pounds of pressure to squeeze out the rosin. Fuhr says the company's future is in medical cannabis. We're one of the first facilities in the state to ask the Liquor Control Board to designate our facility as medical. And in fact, we've designated our entire facility as medical. I'm not sure if, if anyone else has done that yet. Uh, because of our clean room grow practices, we feel that our entire crop will qualify. And right now, we've never brought a pesticide in the building. We don't even put neem oil on these plants. They're as clean as clean can come. With all that technology behind it, Toucan Farms now grows three strains of cannabis, Willie's Wonder, Borealis, and Uncle John's. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.